Hello students, how are you all? Shubho Naoborsho to everyone. Hope you are enjoying with your family and you are staying at home. So today, here I am with another chapter from your science book that is Health and Hygiene. See students, whenever we come across the word health, this health means everything. So there is a common saying called health is wealth. If you are healthy, then you can do every work cheerfully and energetically. So in this chapter, we will learn about the different ways by which you can be healthy and what are the different things which can hinder your health. So let's get started. So what does the term health means? Health means physical, mental and social well-being. See students, if you are not having any disease, that doesn't mean you are healthy. See, healthy means not only you are physically well, but as well as mentally and socially. So nowadays we come across the word depression. See, we get depressed. Now we all are locked down. We cannot go out. We cannot have pizzas. We cannot have ice creams. So we feel depressed. But then tell me students that as you are feeling depressed, so you are, you are under depression. So can you say you are healthy? No, because you are not well mentally. So you need to be happy. See, whatever may be the situation, you are with your family. So enjoy this so that you can overcome the depression. Yes or no? So students, health means your complete social mental and physical well-being now mental i have already discussed what does social means suppose you're staying in an area where always there are there is chaos going on someone is fighting someone is you know running someone is stealing something then what happens or someone is always throwing garbage near your house and it's very dirty so it is your social well-being that means you are not socially well or it may be said in this way that you are going to school or you're going to a place where your friends are bullying you continuously they are saying rubbish to you so this thing hinder your health that means you are not socially well so in the, in general health means physical mental as well as social well-being every day we eat different type of food we eat food to leave. Now this food plays an important role in keeping us healthy. So we should always eat nourishing and hygienic food in order to be healthy. Now this food contains different nutrients. These nutrients help us to grow and it also help in the development of our body. Now, now we will study about different components of food. Now what are the different components of food? These are first carbohydrate, second protein, third fats, fourth minerals and fifth is vitamins. So now we will learn about all the different components of food in somehow details. Let's begin with carbohydrates. Now what are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates can be simply called sugar or starch. Now from where we can get carbohydrates? We can get carbohydrates from rice, from sugar, from jaggery. What is jaggery? It is good. Then potatoes, wheat. So all this food give us carbohydrate. Now why do we need carbohydrate? We need carbohydrate because they gives us energy. See students, sometimes you feel, you know, during summers, when you play outside and you're very, you're sweating and you're tired, exhausted. When you come back to home, sometimes your mother gives you glucose, glucon D. Why? Or she may give you lemonade like lemon with sugar and salt. And whenever you have it, instantly you get the energy. Yes or no? That means whatever you're drinking, that is giving you energy. Now, let us elaborate a bit. See, glucon D is actually sugar. It's a type of sugar or in broad way, it is a carbohydrate. In fact, a lemonade also contains sugar. That is also a carbohydrate. So, this carbohydrate gives you instant energy to do work. Next one is 
proteins now what are proteins protein helps us to grow and repair our body parts so from where we are getting protein see you will always hear from your parents that drink milk you should drink milk every day have eggs why because they are rich in protein and as you all know that you are in a growing stage and protein is required for the growth so if you want to be taller stronger then you should have more and more proteins so from where we will get protein see students if you are vegetarian then you can get protein from milk cheese paneer soya bean pulses and if you are non vegetarian then you can eat whatever you want like you can have chicken you can have mutton you can have egg you can have fish these all are rich source of protein so protein help us to grow and you know protein are the building block of our body so if you have more and more protein then you will grow and you will be strong next one is fats now whenever you come across the word fat you just think no i don't want to be fat i don't want to be obese but here fat is also an important component of your food see you don't want to be fat then why you will have fats in your food fat also gives you energy now then what's the difference between fats and carbohydrate we can get energy from carbohydrate see carbohydrate gives you instant energy and fat is the reserve storage of your energy see whenever you need energy it what happens in our body this fats break down and gives you energy so from where we get fat we get fats from the food such as oil it may be ghee butter and cheese so students you, we need fat for proper functioning of our body but excesses of excessive amount of fat can make you really fat next one is vitamin now vitamin help us in maintaining and proper functioning of the body we need vitamin in a very small quantity but it is very essential for proper functioning of the body now from where we will get vitamins we will get vitamins from green vegetables green leafy vegetables we may get vitamins from fruits mainly if you want vitamin c is citrus food fruits then from all the dry fruits you can get vitamins then fish cod liver oil vegetable oils they all are rich source of vitamins now the next one is minerals minerals are very essential for your body it help us in strengthening the bones then maintaining the heartbeat and there are many functions of your body which are regulated with this minerals again minerals are required in very small quantity now from where we are getting the minerals we may get minerals from all the seafood seafood means the fish crabs then we may get it from vegetables leafy vegetables fruits ground nuts so these are the sources of minerals apart from all these essential components we also need water and roughage now what is roughage roughage is also called dietary fiber now this roughage help us to flush out the waste from our body and we get roughage from like cabbage then broccoli this type of thing gives you roughage and it helps to remove the unwanted undigested material from your body and water now you all know 70% of your body is made up of water in blood you will find water in fact in the cells inside the cell the protoplasm it is also made up of water so see the 70% of your body is made up of water and or water also helps in absorbing the nutrients from your stomach it help us to absorb the nutrient from your elementary canal and it also help in transporting those nutrients to different part of your body for the food we consume every day should contain all the components of food in right amount now the diet which contain all the component of food in adequate amount for proper functioning of your body is called 
balance diet that means every day in your diet you should have some carbohydrate it may be in the form of rice or chapati you should have some protein as dal or paneer or chicken you should have some fats and you should eat green vegetables as well as fruit to get mineral and vitamins as well as you should have plenty of water every day that hydrates your body and keeps you healthy we have discussed about health how we can be healthy and the different components of food in the next video we will learn about the different types of diseases how they are spread and how we can prevent this diseases till then stay at home enjoy with your family and see you soon bye